Hey, you must have heard the noise about Stratic being acquired by Elemental. We know what Elemental is, but what the heck is Stratic? There will be a meeting with Elemental and Stratic on the 16th of June. I'll put a link into that. Go and watch that video or join in the meeting at the time. It is next week, though. But right now, Stratic offers a headless service. Now, a headless service, basic, a headless service, sorry, what that means is that even though your website is WordPress, when your visitors are interacting with your website, they're interacting um, only onto the HTML or the CSS style of things. They're not actually interacting with your WordPress website. It's a little bit difficult to explain, but your website is WordPress. But when your visitors go to it, they're interacting with the HTML side, the static side of it. And that can make your website a whole lot more secure than if you're just letting them access the WordPress website. It's, it's a little bit, you know, there probably will be a much better explanation out there, but that's all I can tell you at the moment. Now, this is meant to make your website a lot more secure um, uh, and faster as well. Now, if I just show you over here their website, and what we're going to do is, um, you will notice it, it says try for free. I am going to basically see, can I get my website migrated over onto here? One of my test ones. So static and headless websites. Uh, with Stratic. Um, it's meant to be pretty easy. You're meant to just install a plugin and away you go. It gives you a free SSL certificate um, and uh, it's meant to help your page speed performance as well. Bear in mind though, this is not going to make your website ultra, ultra fast on its own. A lot of that is affected by your own the content of your website, how you've built it. You know, if you put loads of inner sections in, of course, it's going to go downhill. Um, videos and sliders and stuff like that. But this is meant to be like um, scalable. It's meant to have high performance. Like I said, it's headless so that your users, they're actually using the static website, not um, accessing your actual WordPress website. Now, I will just mention here, though, there are some information on the website like FAQs. How do I get started? Can I still add plugins? Yes, of course you can. So there is, um, th th there's, there's pretty good, decent information here, especially around the security aspect as well. But here's something I do really want to point out. And this, I think, is a bit of the elephant at the moment, okay? You do get a free 30-day trial if you want to go for it. However, can you see the costings we have here for solo and business? $45 a month. Business is $250 a month. If you go solo, you are not going to have a staging website now, which is just over here. You lose the staging process. So I'm coming at this from a site ground point of view. I use site ground a lot. Our clients use them as well. And we use Elemental Cloud. You're not going to get a staging site here. Now you do get um, unlimited visits, visits, which is fantastic. The storage is five gigabytes. I would have preferred a little bit more than five gigabytes, if I'm honest, for $45 a month. Um, you are allowed one website and one seat. Now, the seat is the, no let me just show you here. Let me just bring it down here. You're allowed one seat. The seats are the number of active users in your account. So it might be that I'm the only person who's able to access it, unless you have a shared password, which we don't recommend. But hey, I just went and said that. So $45 a month, that's quite a bit. Um, and my argument I'm coming from is that if Elementor are now working with Stratic, are we going to see a reduced cost? How is this going to impact on Elemental Cloud? Are we now going to have a solution where you buy Pro or Elemental Cloud or whatever, and it kind of integrates and works with this? There's so many questions I have, and I don't fully know what the answers are. But let's just click Try for Free and sign up. So let's create an account. When you create your account, it will ask you to put in a confirmation code. So once that comes through, we'll enter it and proceed. So I've logged in and I'm now into my dashboard. I have the option here to like chat to someone maybe if I have any questions, um, which is kind of similar to the Elemental Cloud approach with the live chat support. I can hit go upgrade, obviously to upgrade. And if I click it, let's just see what it does. It's now going to say, what option do you want to go for? So 45, 250 or a custom one. Let's just go back a step over here. And I can only add one site, I'm assuming with the free one. So I'm going to go over and add my site. Now we do have accounts, we have team and support. Let's add our site. So I'm going to call this one uh, staging. In fact, I'm going to call it staging test site because that's actually the test site I currently use quite a bit when I'm creating tutorials for all of you wonderful people. So let's hit create. 
and that's kind of okay. It says this will take a few minutes, so I'm going to let this go, and I'll let you know how long it took. That did indeed take uh, just a, oh, just about two minutes. Now it says here I can either head to WordPress, and that's probably going to be installed a plugin, I bet. But it also has explore site details. Uh, so I am going to just go in and just double check what that does. This website is a staging website. I currently have off a SiteGround website. So it's kind of got some information here about WordPress connection info. And we have some details down here. Preview site connection. Okay. Password protect your static live with basic authentication. Site connection info and yeah, okay. I'm not going to say a lot of this means much to me, but okay. So I've come back over here hoping to hit the button which said go over to WordPress, but now it is saying the site is being created. But you can see down here, we have this completely different URL now. Here is the website that I currently have. Let me just bring the URL into view there. So currently at the moment, it uses that address there. Okay, that's the staging area address. Okay. It's pretty substandard. It's a staging site, it's a test site. I just mess around on it. But now I've got this completely different address. So I'm just going to kind of pop that in and see where it takes me. Okay, so I'm basically being told you got to go to edit in WP, which it's currently not letting me do because it's building the website, obviously migrating. And then I have to hit Stratic publish button. So if I go back over to Stratic over here in the dashboard, you can see the site is still being created. So I will report back to you with how long that took. Um, it actually just took about a minute. So if you include, well, it was actually seconds, but if you include the two minutes it took to kind of first do it um, where it brought over the dashboard and then about a minute and a half roughly for when it then built it, you're looking at about three and a half minutes, which isn't too bad, I think, in the grand scheme of things. So we have the option to edit or we go to details. Now, I've just had an email come from them right now and that email basically says, um, you've got to log in, go to your WordPress dashboard, um, and then what you can do is import an existing uh, web, WordPress website, or you can publish it. Now, I will say the instructions here don't relate very well to what I'm seeing on the screen. And I feel like either there's a bit of a, a mix, mix up going on here, or it doesn't really translate very well. Now, rather than hitting edit, I'm just going to go to details, okay? And now we're back in the details screen. Right, okay, so we're back where we are. It currently tests, tells me the three trial. I have 29 days left because it's only for 30 days. Now we're going to hit edit in uh, WordPress. So if I now go here, I'm going to say, okay, what language are we going to use? Scroll down and continue. So I'm going to call this site title uh, staging test. And I'm then going to put in my username and password and email. And then I'm going to click install WordPress. Okay. So I've come through to a completely brand new WordPress installation. And it's basically saying, you know, welcome to Stratic. Um, there's your Stratic button uh, where you can publish action, I think. So it appears on the server. Um, you have the option. So you have a live environment and a preview environment. So that's what that button does over there. Um, full publish, quick publish. Okay, selective publish. Right, it says, okay, we're ready to go now. Now, at the moment, this is a completely fresh installation. This at the moment has not got my old website brought over here. Now, I did find that in the email they sent, there was a link that said, well, what do you do if you want to migrate your website over? And what it says is you've got to log into your site. You want to migrate to Stratic. You've got to go to plugins. So let's go over to our original website. Let's go to the dashboard. Remember, this is a test website that we're using. We go to plugins, add new, and we have to do a search for this plugin here, which is called Migrate Guru plugin. And it's this one here uh, by Migrate Guru. It's got 70,000 active installations. It's last updated three weeks ago. So let's just go ahead and install that. So what we're going to do is click that, add in our email address, and then click Migrate Site. Now, when you see this next bit, you're probably going to go, what the heck is going on here? Why is it giving me all of these? I thought we were using Stratic. The notes say to you that you have to now pick FTP. So let's pick that. Now, this bit is, again, a little bit confusing. In the notes, it says you must include HTTPS, etc., which is what I see over here with Stratic.io. It also says, please ensure that the address you're using does not have the word live at the end here. Um, so basically, what you would do is uh, you would strip out the word live. Now, you do have preview, but you then also have this version. Now, this is 
really, really confusing as to which one to use. So I'm just going to take the WordPress connection info and I'm going to ensure that that is pasted in over here. You're then told that you must then select SFTP. Okay, like so. You're then meant to enter in your SFTP uh, uh, details as well. So if we go back over here and I scroll down, I'll see it here. So I'm going to pick up this item here and paste that into there. Uh, for the FTP username, I will pick up this and I will enter that uh, there. And for the password, I will again pick that up and I will enter in that there as well. Now we are told that we need to add in a directory path. And for the directory path, what we should use is, and I'll type this here, it's a forward slash public um, under, whoops, is it underscore HTML and it's forward slash again. Let me just double check that. Yeah, forward slash public underscore HTML uh, forward slash. It's quite a bit of work here. You, you know, I'm not going to lie. This, this doesn't seem to be the easiest thing at the moment. Now you are then asked to do, uh, you are then asked to put in um, the source password. So just to clarify, I've actually just changed something because I feel like the notes aren't exactly clear. The destination site URL at the top here, I have gone back into the site details, gone to the live site connection info and copied this. But can you see the word live here? I've actually removed the word live because it says don't have the word live in there. Now for down here where you have the destination username and password, I've gone down here then, back to WordPress connection info, gone to here, and there's your username and there's your password. Now, once we've done all that, and you can see what I've got here, I'm now gonna hit migrate. After about a minute, I'm taken to this screen, and what it's now doing is migrating. It's asking me if I wanna sign up for a free trial for blog fault, uh, you know, for backups and stuff like that, which I'm not really fussed about. But I'm just waiting for all of these files and info to move over. Remember, this is a staging test website, so I'll be back in a moment. Hey, so that's taken 16 minutes, but bear in mind, this is a testing website and it had, from what I can tell, about 384 megabytes worth of content and whatever stuff in there. But it still took 16 minutes, which isn't too bad, to be honest. So this was our source. So it was coming from our test website and it's now gone over to here. So let's now just view that migrated website. And yeah, it's brought us through to my test dummy fake rubbish page that I've got there. I had a bit of a scroll effect going on here, which is kind of working. It's got a form down there. So if I was to now log into this page, I've logged in with my normal login and password that I originally had. And I can clearly see that all the pages, all the licenses, all the plugins, everything is still as it was. And it nothing has kind of been deleted or anything like that. Even my code snippets are all present. It's a full on migration. So yes, it took 16 minutes, but it's kind of done what I wanted to do. So from one aspect, that's quite good, right? However, this does bother me still a little bit. The fact that we have this completely different URL. And if we go back to the Stratic uh, dashboard, okay, and I go to details, and I go to domain, it says you've got to upgrade to connect your domain. So if I upgrade the plan, so if I go for the solo plan, which is $45 per month, I will now be able to connect my domain. If I play annually, it's $450 per year. That is a heck of a lot of money. Now, I just want to test something out here, okay? If I go to pay monthly and I go for select, because I'm based in the UK, what does this mean for me? So it's going to be $45, $45 there, one site, unlimited visits. And if I was to sign up, is this going to charge me VAT? Now, it does not say that there, but I'm a little bit dubious because I bet it will do. But let's say it doesn't. That's still a huge amount of money, in my opinion, for what you're getting. Um, the sign up process, I don't feel it was completely clear cut. I had to stop and think. This video you're watching right now is going to be massively edited when it goes out. At the time of recording, it is 53 minutes long. Some of it was the time it took to migrate and do all of that. So you've got to excuse about 17, 18, 19 minutes from, you know, when I had to get my verification and sign up and all of that. But still, I had to sit there and do a bit of thinking. Now, the website's there. It's working fine. Okay. There's, there's probably going to be added levels of security and uh, interaction with the website with how our users interact. 
they'll be touching a static HTML file. So it protects your website a whole lot more. But $45 a month or $450, I mean, come on, business, five websites, two and a half thousand dollars, you know, per year. That, that's We're talking about big bucks here. But what does this mean for Elemental? Um, especially with the fact that they had Elemental Cloud rolled out. Now, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll get some question answers in the coming weeks or so, but I'm really keen to know more about this. And will there be a reduced cost or not? I mean, you can't miss the fact that already on their website, it already says Stratic by Elemental. Even on their dashboard, it's got by Elemental. So it's already kind of feeding in. What does this mean? And hopefully it will become clearer later on. And I will do another review once we know the exact details. But here I've gone through. It's not the most clear cut, easiest process, but there was a process to migrate your website. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and shout at me and I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing.